Youth of the Nation. Uh, we are the Youth of the Nation. We are going to do one more uh, draft tonight because I want to. Question from Ender. Thoughts on spicy food? I like spice. I don't like burn the fucking top layers of skin on my tongue just to be like, man, that was like, you know, like the, the end stage sauces of hot ones piss off with that shit, you know? That's that's my thought. Anyway, um, our rosters are pretty much good to go. Again, a reminder, unfortunately for Chat's team, uh, Camilo Duvall, after just four innings pitched in spring training, tore a hamstring. So he's going to be out for a little bit. Um, but a reminder that your team is, is looking better. Again, I still don't know if you guys are going to be playoff caliber, but it is... A pretty good-looking team, if we're being honest. Um, and then for myself here in Chicago, again, uh, very pitching-heavy. Still a younger team. I, I feel like I'm taking a little bit more of the slow and steady approach than you guys have. We'll see how that plays out. Um, before anything else happens, we got to double-check the scouts. I had the worst record between the two of us last year, so I'm going to get to optimize this first. If you don't like it, suck my balls. Um... Yeah, I'm going to be left with 500 bucks, so that's fine. Um, for you guys, let's see. Uh, you do have room to improve Barack Robinson. Hell of a name. Hell of a name, hell of a name. Uh, go for that guy first because you don't do much for discovery. Leaves you with 2,800. There you go. Not too bad. Not too bad. And again, since we don't do much for discovery... Actually, you know what? In fairness, we might be able to optimize that a little bit more. I was going to say, if there's a particular scout that isn't that good... Yeah, it doesn't quite work. It's fine. We'll leave it as is. Uh, so we are pretty much good to go. So let's sim to the start of the regular season where Chats Rockies are listed as the 15th ranked team in baseball. That's not bad. Fifth in defense. The pitching leaves a bit to be desired, but decent at the plate, decent defense. You guys are ranked 15th compared to second for the Dodgers, sixth for the Diamondbacks, 19th for the Padres, and 11th for the Giants. Unfortunately, you are in the division of death. But you're not a bad team. At this stage, that is for sure. For myself, I am still 26th. With, uh, well, one of three teams ranked in the 20th. Or in the 20th? In the 20s. At 26th. So, you guys are definitely better on paper at the moment. We'll see how the long game plays out. What I want to check is the top prospect list. Ibar is still the number one prospect in baseball. My first appearance is number 8, Andreas Olivo, and a number 12, Josh Saito from the last draft. I also have Adrian McGee at 20. You guys have the newly renamed second baseman, Pablo Sanchez Dos, because he is the second Pablo Sanchez that you guys have now on the team. Uh, let's see, I also got Brian Duncan at third base, so I have some... High appearances from my projects that I drafted last year, which is really nice to see. Also got Xavier Reagan up there. And obviously, ooh, Dinger McPiss Missile and Cash Considerations just missing the top 50. So your top prospects as you see them there. Unfortunately, somebody like Drew Romo is now kind of getting left behind. He never really developed into that elite level catcher. But you guys do have Dinger McPiss Missile to kind of take over for him. Um, and for my White Sox, it is a lot of pitching. A lot of pitching. But also the handful of 18, 19-year-old prospects I drafted last year are up there already within my organization. So I'm a fan of that. Uh, and for the record... I mean, there's not going to be too many non-generated names here anymore. So, But Andreas Olivo is the second highest rated starting pitcher. 
You guys have Ash Ketchum just outside the top 10 for relievers. Uh, for closers, I have Zapata at 11. Good old Nicholas. Number four. Uh, Dinger is the second best catching prospect in baseball right now. Only behind Antoine Smith. That's very promising for you guys. First base, Elvin Garrison's now the second uh, ranked first baseman. That's good, especially after I took him, what, fourth overall? Uh, you guys have this, the best second base prospect in baseball with Pablo Sanchez Dos. Damn. Needless to say, that was a home run pick for you guys. At third base, I have Brian Duncan at five, but you guys have cash considerations at six. And Tuck McGroin, who, of course, is graduating. Shortstops. Neither of us have an elite shortstop. I got Felix Pineda down there at 13. Left field, you guys have Mountain Oyster in four. Not bad. He is 24 years old now, though. Center field, you guys have Buck Wild at number eight. 20 years old. And in right, I have Josh Saito. You guys also have Jordan Beck, but he's 26, man. He's not exactly much of a prospect. Um, yeah, the Mariners have a lot of shortstops. <laughs> Correct. The Mariners have a lot of shortstops in their system. They clearly subscribe to draft the best player available and take it from there. So let's see what's going to happen this year. I mean, I, I said it last year that I thought you guys could have pushed for a playoff spot. Um, this year especially feels that way. Oh, you guys are wearing the throwback jerseys, so the logo changed. I didn't know it did that. That caught me off guard. Bunny, take it easy, by the way, if you can even hear me. All right, so in terms of scouting, let's take a look at what you guys might need. In terms of a catcher, obviously not. Like, you have Dinger McPiss Missile to build around. There's really nothing you have to look at there. I mean, unless you just wanted to get somebody else. Like, you could put it into, like, the not really category. First base, you have Kyle Manzardo. You don't... You know, that's a kind of at first base. You don't have anybody else behind Manzardo, but he has developed into your guy at first base. Second base, you don't need anything. Between the newly renamed Short King and Pablo Sanchez Dos, you don't need anything at second base. I mean, unless there is just this steal of the century. Third base, I don't think you need anybody there. You got Tug McGroin, you got cash considerations. I don't know if that's as much of a, a no as second base. But I really don't think you need a third baseman. Shortstop. Honestly, looking for a shortstop wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. You're just kind of stuck with these three. And eventually you're going to have to make a choice. I'd kind of put that in the same category as first base. Like, a, a kind of. Left field, you got Langford, Fernandez, Mountain Oyster. I mean, you don't need a left fielder. Center field, you have 23-year-old Max Clark. And in right, you have Nolan Jones. Now again... This is the last year on his contract. He's declining a little bit, so if you get a trade offer for him, you might want to take it. Um, I'd, I'd put outfield and not really for you guys. And then that leaves relievers, which, yeah, you haven't really drafted too many super high-end. You actually haven't drafted any super high-end relievers. Um... I think it's another year for you guys of relievers and starting pitchers. I feel like that's that's pretty straightforward. Look for relievers, look for starting pitchers, and then take uh, and that is the thing. I did forget to set up the trade block, so thank you. And then look at like first baseman or shortstop and see if you can find anybody. Um, let's update the trade blocks here because I did forget to do that. Um, honestly, if you can trade Sam Huff. You might as well. Um, there's really nobody else to move there. First base, you might as well try to move somebody, right? Uh, second base, honestly, if you can make a deal for Brendan Rodgers, you should. 
And if you could trade Waluigi, you should. He's he's just not going to develop. Even I'm a Mac, he's a PC. Could probably go. Even Short King, you might as well see if there's offers. Uh, third base, it's worth looking for those two. Shortstop, it's worth putting all three of them up there. Easily. Uh, in left, honestly, Fernandez, Oyster, Brenton Doyle, Benny Montgomery... And then obviously those two in right, even former Bat Boy. Okay, so you wouldn't be able to put former Bat Boy up there. I don't think you'd get much for him. Benny Montgomery, you might get something for. Um, cash considerations is worth trading because you have Tug McGroin. Or at least seeing if you can get a good offer. Um, don't even bother trying to get something for those two then. Um... In terms of pitchers, the problem is, if you can get rid of Gratterall, he's continuing to decline. If you can get out from underneath that contract, you should. Just unfortunately, out of nowhere, he is declining. Honestly, Ian Hamilton at 32. He's a good reliever, but he is 32. And then that's that. You're probably not going to get much for canning anyway. If there's any disagreements, let me know, but I do think that is the best way to set things up. And again, it's pretty clear. Look for those five. It's the same things you're going to scout for. Look for those five. Shortstop, it's to find a younger shortstop because, again, you got this log jam of these three who are all now in their mid-20s. You don't really have a project down there. So that's a pretty well-optimized trade block for you guys. Um, and in terms of scouting, it's going to be all pitching to start. Unless you want me to look to see if there's any good first or uh, first baseman or shortstops first, and then looking at pitchers. But pitching is easily the biggest need that you guys have. Do you want to look at those two positions first or just focus on pitchers? And then if you have time at the end, look at the position players. What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? Cynical that you are, but I wasn't going to call you out for it. Any opinions here? Or hockey kid going pitching. Stick of pitching. Shortstop. Pitchers first. Looks like pitching is going to win out. Okay. Let's see what you can find then. Let's see what you guys can find. Do the basic level to weed out the really shit guys that aren't worth looking at. Uh, for myself and the trade block. There's a lot of people I'd like to move on from. Javi Chavez, if I can move him because he's not going to develop. Um, honestly, Altman, the Caros. I can keep Corey Lee around for a while. Um, Sammy Rodriguez isn't going to develop. Norman might, but I doubt it. I am... Not going to have enough space <laughs> for all of the people that I would like to put on this trade block. That is my suspicion. All I can do is try to trade the guys with high potentials that I don't think are going to make it. See if I can catch the AI. Um, in terms of closers... Ooh, Geronimo finally. Might have hit a ceiling. Uh, do I have anybody else? Not really. In terms of starters, if I can move on from Carlisle, McGee will probably still make it. Marquez probably won't. Even Rosa. Grant Taylor. Okay, how many more players can I add? At least four. That's not bad. Um, if I can move Corey Lee, I might as well try. I don't think Bell or Gladney will give me any value. Prieto won't give me much value. I don't think Kath and Ramos will give me much value. Shoemaker, Kenny. 
signed Jimenez to a one-year deal. I might as well try to move him and Luis Robert now that they're both on the wrong side of 30. Um, Fletcher, if I can move him, if I can move McKinstry. Okay, I ran out of space. Um, I still haven't looked at what, excuse me, that I really need to target here. Um, so for myself here, let's see, what do, what do, what do I really need? I wouldn't put catcher in like dead set, yes, but that's a kind of first base. I'm good with Elvin Garrison. Like he's he's my guy. Second base is also a kind of because I don't really trust Jacob Gonzalez. I mean Norman could make it, but it's still a kind of. Third base got Brian Duncan in the system. I put that as a not really. Shortstop. I'm I'm pretty much good to go with Colson Montgomery. That's a that's a not really. Uh, left field is a is a yes. It's gonna be outfielders again, isn't it? Center field we have Zavala. Put that in kinda. And then in right I have Saito. So I'd put that as a no. Uh, in terms of pitchers, still got Zapata in the system. Some other relievers, I'd put relief pitchers as a not really. And I'd put starting pitchers as a no. So let's see then. In terms of the trade block, I need a left fielder. Catcher, second base, center field. And then at a third base, shortstop. Um... I'll put third base there as more of a priority. So that's that. And in terms of scouting for me, it is left field, center field, and we'll go for catcher instead of second base, at least to start. So let's see. Need myself some left field options please let this be a good draft for that i have had some bad luck in terms of uh positional needs actually being in those particular draft classes as you guys get a trade offer from the yankees it's another shortstop left fielder mountain oyster for oswald peraza it is the last thing that you need peraza is not bad but that is just not the trade that you need. We didn't even put shortstop as a need for you guys. <laughs> and the Yankees are just like, hey, you want another shortstop? All right. What do we got for scouting here then? Uh, for myself. So it was left field, center field, and catcher. And we'll move on to center field. And classic Cashman, right? And for you guys, it'll be starting pitcher international. And then relievers, and we'll look at closers after that. Let's go another week here. I get a trade offer from Baltimore. Ah, left fielder Augustin Cardona for second baseman Romy Gonzalez. Again, I, Cardona's not going to make it as much as I'd love him to. If he does make it, he'll be almost 30. But I really don't need Romy Gonzalez. He's a great utility player. But uh, I, I just don't need him. So we'll hold off on that. Let's see, chat at 500 through 22 games, currently in second in the NLS. Look at that. Even without Camilla Duvall. How do you like that? Chat is crushing it. What a way to start. All right, center field east. Right? Yeah, center field east. We need center field international. 
And then I need to look at catchers. We will sim another week. Another day to set up scouting. I am dead last in the AL Central. You guys are still at 500. Long way to go, but you never know. All right, let's finish scouting out closers. So for you guys, do you want to, after this week, immediately start looking at pitchers more in depth? Or do you want to take a look at first baseman and shortstops just to see if there's anybody there? How much emphasis do you want to put on focusing on pitching in this draft? Let me know. Get your West. Get your East. Full send pitching. Looking death. Focus on pitching. Looks like it's going to be pitching. Duly noted. Duly noted. Uh, you guys get a trade offer from the Yankees. Hey, you want Oswald Peraza? <laughs> it's going to be a no. You guys just don't need it. All right. So for my White Sox, I am going to move on to scouting second baseman over the next week or two uh, before I start going super in-depth. And uh, we'll take it from there. So for you guys, still at 500. Taylor Trammell 2.0, right? All right, let's see. Who is out there for you guys? So, you know what we'll do? As second baseman, Adam O'Neill is apparently the number one guy in this class. That might be my guy. Whew! Gene Karowski. God damn. We'll certainly look at that guy. Um, let's do one on starters, one on relievers, one on closers. And that way you guys can get kind of a, a general all-around approach here given that it's about equal need for starters and relievers long-term. So that'll be the approach there. And like I said, for me, I'm going to look at second baseman before I go in depth. Uh, as you guys have one too many players on the roster, which means Camilo Duvall is back. And that'll be uh, Astros trash can. One of your new relievers. Going back down to Triple A. So Duvall is back. Let's see. So that went through last week, didn't it? No, it didn't, because you haven't uh, found out anything about that guy. I go second base. Yeah, it hasn't said that I found any info. That happened the first day. Sheesh. Uh, you guys get a trade offer from the Mets. Short King for 32 year old starter Tyler McGill. You, you don't need to do that at all. Again, Short King, even though he's struggling right now, still has promise. So that's a no. Obviously decline that for you guys. Holy shit, the White Sox are up to 500. Look at this. As you guys are now four games under 500. <laughs> what the hell is going on? All right, so for the White Sox, I need second base international. And then I need to start looking at players... I am going to start in left field with David Walker and Daryl Brindell will be my first two uh, for you guys. Gene Karoski is going to be an interesting one, chat. He is only a B potential, but look at his starting overall. He's almost ready to go. He is at most two seasons away, if not one. So you know what he's going to be, but damn, that's he's pretty good. Let's get you a look at Hoyt Almanzar. Uh, for the reliever, you don't really need to look at Ben Burris anymore. I mean, he's not super high end, right? Like if you get him in the second round thinking, all right, he's at least a C and will be decent, that's fine. But that's not something to focus on right now. Johnny Mora is. And then in terms of the closers... Worth getting more information on Raul Sanchez, right? Because if that overall is higher, he could be insane. 
So, so far, so good for you guys. Very early on with the pitchers. We're still two months out from the draft. All right. You guys back to 500. Hoyt Almanzar also looking pretty good. He is 22, though. You'd need that overall to be a little bit higher. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Mr. Rosario. Um, again, try to get more info on people here for relievers. Kevin Grant, worth taking a look at. And for closers, worth taking a look at Ron Reese. WCW legend, Ron Reese. Uh, for myself, I need to finish looking at outfielders. David Walker's not bad. Don't know if I trust Julio Delgado. I don't know if I trust that. That's long shot territory. He is younger, though, but man, that starting overall is not great. Left field in general might not be great for super high-end talent. I'll look at Chris Drew. The lottery has happened, yes. We both have a top three pick. Um, I'm going to have you guys look, or this guy look in center field with Garrett Bledsoe. And then let's go back over to catchers. Instead of second base first. Well, then again, actually, no, because that there was that really good second baseman. Let's look at Adam O'Neill. See if he is, in fact, the guy. I mean, I have him 40% scouted already. He does look damn good. But I need to know for sure. Let's see. You guys get a trade offer from the Athletics. Jay Groomy. The Groom. He's 29. Only a 74. Moving Bernabelle doesn't do much for you there. If you're going to move him, move him for someone better. That's a no. See, no other trade offers. All right, so for the Sox. Let's see. Looking at left fielders in this position. It's David Walker. I got the max info on. Delgadio. You know what? I'm intrigued enough by Delgadio. Uh, let's see. Center field. I need to know more about Pablo Asuncion. And then Adam O'Neill is he's looking like the real deal. The real deal. Adam O'Neill. Let's also look at Jay Staples. For you guys, two games over 500. Four and a half back of the Dodgers. It's not bad. Uh, let's see who's out there for starting pitchers to look at. Definitely look at Hank Lundy. Uh, the real deal, Adam Oatmeal, indeed. Uh, for relievers, worth looking at Scott Potter. And for natural closers, definitely worth looking at Richard Alleman. What a time for the Rocky theme to play. Let's fucking go. Hey, I got a trade offer from the Astros. Dominic Fletcher for second baseman, Omar Collado. You know? You know? I mean, the problem is, like, he's just as... Just as good as, like, Baldwin and Gonzalez. He's been fucking electric at the plate so far this season. He does have really freaking good contact and vision. Baldwin's never going to be that good at the plate. Gonzalez is never going to be that good at the plate. You know, Dom, it might be time for you to go. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna go with go with my gut on that. All right, 500 Rockies. Let's see what you guys got here. Lundy ended up not being all that great. Uh, worth looking at Stevie Sexton, son of Richie. That's Richie Sexton. In fairness, uh, let's see. Outright reliever is worth looking at Sam Malone. And then for the closers, definitely not look, not worth looking at Guillermo Reyes. <laughs> I feel like that's safe to say. Uh, is worth looking at Eric Ullman. You can find a bit more information on him. Uh, for myself here, yeah, my suspicions about Delgadio were well on the money. Left field is looking... 
Pretty damn slim for me, unfortunately. That was my fear. I'll look at Antonio Franco. Uh, center field. I'll look at Reed Baird. Your parents hated you. And then second base. Definitely got to look at Mario Guillen. 41 days until the drafts. I got a trade offer from the Royals. Center fielder Gavin Cross for catcher Edgar Caro. I mean, Gavin Cross isn't that bad. He's 27. In center, I have Luis Robert. He's not that much better than Sam Zavala, though. Also, Luis Robert broke his ankle, so he hasn't played that much this season. Where the hell's my trade offer where the freaking AI hand me a great, like, A-rated prospect for nothing? You guys have gotten that, like, three times. I'm fucking salty. Meg, take it easy, by the way. Uh, I think I'm done with left fielders. There, it's... It's pretty rough. Uh, so let's change left field out to catcher. I could scout a right fielder, but I prefer it to be natural position. I don't want to get into us moving people around because it takes away a little bit of the challenge. Um, so I need to look at catchers here. Robert Sennett. Sennett might not be that bad. Uh, center field. Look at Stevie Fortune. And then second base. Got to look at Ted Bastar. <laughs> You're a bastard. Bobby Lashley. <laughs> Ted Bastar. Doesn't, can I rename him to Ted Bastardo? Like, it's so close yet so far. All right. Let's see. Oh, and then for you guys. Almost forgot. That was the first time. Uh, let's see. For starters, anybody that you don't have too much info on, Carlos Herrera. For relievers, <clears throat> Mike Pedroza. And for closers, Richard Alleman. You still don't know too much about him. You, you, yeah, you got to learn a little bit more. So, let's keep it going. 34 days. Make it 27. What Billy Talent song is this? This is Sympathy. Let's see. So for you guys, ooh, Herrera's not that bad. For starters, your scouts do still like Stevie Sexton the most out of any of the starting pitchers. Alfredo Magana is back in the draft. Again, he wasn't signed last year. Alfredo Magana back in the drafts. That's an interesting one. 40% scouted. You could get a little bit more info on him. Then you got some guys at 30%. Those 30% are definitely worth looking at. There's a lot of potential uh, at starting pitcher this year. You already kind of know Magana's overall might not be insane. You know quite a bit about him. Let's find out about David Vega. For relievers. Henry Mackey. And for closers, you don't need to know about Guillermo Reyes. He is terrible. Um, you got this guy at 35%, Eric Ullman again. He's worth looking at, because if that low end overall goes up, he could be decent. Could be. For the White Sox, I'm going to find out more information about catchers, De Los Santos, Jesus Christ, that overall could be insane, but I'm not biting for that. There's no way. Eloy Tejada, Tejada I should say. Uh, center field, Stephen Fortune. Let's see. We'll look at Joey Locke. And then second base... Take a look at Eduardo Burgos. Hope for the best there. And we move. Less than a month out from the draft. I get a trade offer from the Phillies for center fielder Dylan Cruz. <sighs> he 
he's declined a little bit hitting wise this year. Again, he's not bad, but he's just not that big of an improvement over Zavala. He's an improvement, but he's not that big of an improvement. So, yeah, whenever you guys want to take a look, if you do at first base or shortstop, let me know. I mean, you already kind of know who you're going to be looking at taking with one of those, uh, you know, with that first pick. Not the first overall pick, but with your first pick. Uh, we have three weeks left of scouting. I'm going to go through mine here really quickly. Change prospect, catcher. More information on Sinet would be great. Nobody else looks that great. Miguel Ramirez, that's concerning. There's Mitch Erdman. William Sands, the overall is going to be way too low. Luke Cabrera, the overall is going to be way too low. I can at least switch out a closer for first base. Can do. I'm going to look more at Robert Sinet. Uh, center field. Look at Israel Cardenas. And then second base. Got to look at Morgan Land. It's the game plan there. Uh, so, at this point, at this point, let's see who's left for closers that you might want to look at. I mean, again, you could look for more information on certain players, but in terms of people who you haven't looked at that might be good, you haven't really looked at Archie James, Domingo Fernandez, Fernando Vera, less so. I'd say there's two closers left that could potentially be good that would be worth looking at. In terms of relievers that you have no info on, Charlie James, Will O'Neill, eh, that overall is higher. He's not bad. Greg McAtee, Johnny Silva could be decent. There's still a hell of a lot of relievers to potentially look at. Only a couple of closers. And then for the starters, I mean, you know there's going to be a shitload of people to look at. So what do you think, chat? Switch out to looking at first base and shortstop, which are kind of needs, or stick with uh, pitching for one more week at least. Just for the record, in terms of first base, there's only two guys that are projected to be first rounders. Shortstop, there's two guys that are projected to be first rounders. Switch closers for first base. All right. You got it. So it'll be Mike Gillespie. First person looked at. And uh, go ahead and move on. Uh, and for myself, I'm good to go. All right. Like I said, we got three more weeks of scouting left before this draft. Uh, the Angels have offered me a trade. Josh Carlisle for Davis Wenzel. That's enough. I cannot get one of those fucking steal of a trade offers, man. I can't do it. All right, Robert Sinet, I got a better idea of what you're looking like. I don't really like what I see. Um, there really wasn't another great catcher to look at. Center field. Anybody... No, nope, I think I'm pretty much out there. And what about second base? Looking like I'm pretty much out there. So I'm going to take the approach now of just looking at who my scouts view as the best players possible and trying to max out information. I'm not going to worry about these two because I have that info from you guys. Um, let's see. I want players that I've already looked at. You know what? I haven't. I didn't look at right fielders, but maybe, maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's worth it. Just because that one guy was there at the very top, Wayne Martinez. Yeah, I, I got to look at these guys. I got to look at these guys. Oh, I mean, Filio, you guys do the same thing, so. Got Raul Palmero and Scott Rubin. Yeah, I got no choice but to look at right fielders for the next two weeks. Uh, so for you guys, 
You didn't get a ton of information on Gillespie. What are you thinking now? By the way, I do think I made a mistake. I think I accidentally left these two after only adding Gillespie. I 100% did. So what I'll do is um, I'll take these top two guys off the list for this week to make it even. Because I made a mistake with your scouting. So we'll even that up. Uh, so at this point, do you guys still want to go heavy with first baseman? Shortstops? Is that the game plan? What do you guys want to do for the last two weeks of scouting? Again, first base and shortstops were kind of starting. It was really just all pitching was the biggest need. Check first base and shortstop. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, so first base, it's worth getting more information on Gillespie, 100%. And actually, you know what we'll do? Let's see. So he's projected 20th. He's projected 16th. And this guy was projected 14th. We'll do it that way. Those are the three best options there. All right. We'll sim another week. Then it'll be one week left of scouting. I get a trade offer from the Guardians. Kevin Pareda. Edgar Care. You know, that's not too bad. I mean, Parade is two points better and only one year older. Um, definitely defense first. It just feels like I kind of jumped the line a little bit. He's got three arbitration years left. Edgar's got a lot more contract control, though. I'm going to say no to that. All right, final scouting day. The Rockies currently sit one game over 500. I am 10 games under. So if anyone's making the playoffs this year, it'll be you guys. We'll see if it happens. Let's take a look. First base for you guys. You have Archie Rhodes. First round projected. In terms of shortstops. Wouldn't be the worst to get more information on Manuel Calderon. Let's see. 58 to a 92, 71 to a 95. Is there another first baseman? It might be worth a look more. There's a lot of toss-ups. I mean, Anderson's 23, but you know his overall is going to be low. Uh, it's kind of a tough call here. More information on Gillespie is worth it to find out if his overall is higher. But he's 18, so it's never going to be that crazy of a range. So, I mean, at shortstop, like Manny Murillo, Ray Franco, Rob Kerr, Frank Coleman. I mean, there's a couple of guys, but they're all projected much lower. Well... How do you guys feel about Gillespie and at shortstop Manny Mario? Any disagreements on that? Two first basemen, arguably the two best first basemen, and the shortstop Manny Mario? Any disagreements? Honestly, you probably want to move Gillespie over to bronze to get a little bit more info on Mario. All right, chat's happy with it. For myself, now that I have access to all three slots again, in right, it's Martinez, it's Palmero, and, oh God, Tory Bundy, born on a Monday, or Nolan Diggs. I gotta go for Bundy just because of the potential higher overall. All right, so there we go. Coming up to draft day. White Sox have 41 and 53, certainly not amazing. The Rockies are one game over 500. Four back of the wild card. Still a long way to go. But you guys have looked pretty damn good this year. Dollander, a 4-2-9 ERA. He's up to an 84, though. Canning a sub-4. So, again, he was awful last year. He's been much better for you guys. You're welcome. Balzovich, on the other hand, has been shit. Uh, Rollison hasn't been great. Lambert's been okay. 
oh man, Gratterall got the big money from you guys and then just gave the fuck up. You gave Gratterall the money and he said, I'm fucking done. My work here is done. Yikes. Oh my god, Duvall! Dude, Colorado is where relievers go to die. He's still playing really well. But his attributes are falling. You guys might have a uh, a Rocky Mountain pitching problem for years to come. 